Welcome everybody once again to a new video and today we are going to review the Ferrari uh, 126C4M if I pronounce that correctly I have to double check that's totally correct from the year 1984 driven by Alboreto. But before we begin today's video, I first want to introduce you to our sponsor, gpworld.nl. As you may know by now, GP World is a store located in the Netherlands and they have one of the largest collection of GP replicas cars from stock. Don't live in the Netherlands? Don't worry, they also ship worldwide. So, if you're interested in these vintage Formula 1 cars from the GP replicas brand, make sure you get them at gpworld.nl. So thank you, GP World, for sponsoring today's video and let's get straight into the review of this beautiful motor car. Interesting looking box we have here. It's not that uh, flimsy cardboard. It's actually this very hard durable cardboard we have here. On the top we have a GP Replicas logo and at the side we have a sticker with info and a barcode as well. All right, there we have it. All right, let's put it out of the case, shall we? And here we have the beautiful Ferrari 126 C4M. Uh, let's start at the front and work our way back, shall we? The front wing looking really cool. Anyway, we have this carbon fiber pattern at the front, looking really nice. One singular sponsor, which is Goodyear. Then we basically move to the cone of this car, which houses a lot of different logos. We have Gould, we have race number 27, Magneti Marelli. So the suspension is looking pretty flimsy, um, pretty thin, but that's completely accurate to that moment in time. Uh, really cool to see how it connects to the body as well, looking really nice. Those attached to those wheels, which we actually have silver wheels this time, aluminium wheels. On the rim of the tire we have Goodyear. The cockpit itself is looking pretty interesting. Uh, it's really cramped in there. We do see a fire extinguisher all the way down with this brown suede seat. Brown suede seat. All right, tongue twister. Uh, blue seat belt, which is a nice offset of the red we have going on here. Steering wheel looking cool. Gouges underneath there, looking pretty nice. And we also have a gear shifter too but the inside is made of carbon fiber. Then we get to the side pods of this car, which there are already pretty significant. Entrances are looking really nice. We have those square or rectangular inlets, looking really nice. At the side of these side pods, we have a bunch of different logos. We have Agip, Speedline, Ericsson's, SKF and Champion. From the top view, we do see two uh, NECA ducts, uh, uh, the largest one I've seen by a mile. Then we greeted by this massive uh, exposed engine actually. We have a bunch of different uh, bunch of different colors in there which is a nice little offset. What is a really interesting approach too is actually this rear wing and it kind of reminds me of the 1995 rear wings we had on the um, Benetton car as well. So at the side we have number 27, Agip, Magneti Marelli. So at the back we have a Agip logo. Look at those two exhausts going on there, looking pretty good. That's basically the car itself, comes on a nice little uh, leather base comes also with a plaque which reads, oh boy that's a lot, uh, 126 C4M 1984 number 27 Michel Alboreto, second place Italy GP Monza of 1984, limited edition 500 pieces made by GP Replicas. And this one is actually embossed, you can really feel the letters which is really interesting. Second place in Italy in Monza, obviously a nice little achievement of Alboreto. Um, number 27, which it's actually one of the most used numbers of Ferrari, I think. Number 27, 28, right? So yeah, um, the links to get this car are in the description down below. You can get them from gpworld.nl. Uh, I'll make sure to put every single link down in the description. Make sure you check this car out at their website below. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for 2.6 thousand subscribers at the moment of recording, I think. So yeah, thank you very much for watching these videos. And I can't wait to see you in the next one as well.